Six weeks later, under the blue skies of Coruscant, Luke had just finished bathing and had dressed in a fine gray robe. As best man at Leia's wedding, he'd planned to arrive early, but then the shuttle driver dropped him at the Alderanian Consulate by accident, a building occupied by some insect race Luke had never heard of and which happened to be nearly 200 kilometers from the Alderanian Consulate. So he found himself arriving at the consulate an hour later than he planned, and when he managed to get in the door, he raced down a long corridor paneled with great slabs of lustrous ancient Yuwa wood toward the white room. He turned a corner and found C-3PO running frantically just ahead. Luke caught up with the droid and said, Hey, 3PO, what's wrong? Oh, Master Luke, 3PO said. I'm so relieved to see you. I'm afraid I've gotten us all into a terrible mess. It's all my fault. We must stop the wedding immediately. What's wrong? Luke asked. What are you talking about? I just learned horrible news from the city computer. It was cross-verifying some files and found that Han isn't royalty after all. He's not? Luke said. No. His great-grandfather... Coral Solo was only a pretender to the throne and got hanged for his crimes. We must warn everyone. So that's why he got so embarrassed and walked out on the Alderanian Council when you announced his lineage, Luke said. He knew that his great-grandfather was a pretender all along. Indeed. 3PO agreed. Stop the wedding. All right. All right. Luke said, placing his hand on 3PO's shoulder. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. Oh, that's so good of you, Master Lu. Luke flipped the droid off, dragged him into an empty office, locked the door, then made his way to the white room, opened one of its many doors. The room had an enormous vaulted ceiling, ornately carved from one monolithic stone, and brilliant lights reflected from the dome, bathing everything in a soft, celestial glow. A thousand guests from a variety of planets sat to witness, and some of them turned to look at Luke. In the front row, Teninial Joe and Princess Older sat together next to R2 and Chewbacca, who was immaculately shampooed and brushed. The prince held a plant on his lap, a purple, trumpet-shaped arrowlook flower. Luke stood at the back, staring up at the marble altar where Han and Leia knelt across from one another, holding hands across the altar. The officiator stood in his emerald robes of office, leading Leia in her vows. She turned and glanced at Luke, the diadems in her veil flashing in the light, and Luke could feel that she was not angry at him for having arrived late, only grateful that he had made it. And at that moment Leo was more serene, more content, than she had ever been in her life. And perhaps she was as filled with joy as anyone could be.